Good morning. This week I've been in Psalm 138 with you. This morning I want us to take a look at verse 3 of this psalm. These are the words of David. And in this short verse he says, On the day I called, you answered me. My strength of soul you increased. We think about the different ways that God works in our life. We know that he provides us with our daily bread. We ask him to do that in the Lord's Prayer. We know that the Lord is one who is able to bring healing, physical healing to people as they have need of that. And here in a verse like this, we see that the Lord is also not only the great physician of the body, but he's also the one who gives healing, and in this case, strength to our souls. The soul is that part of us that is not seen with with the natural eye, but it is very much part of who we are. It includes our mind and will, our emotions. And God has the ability to restore that, to strengthen that. Perhaps the main way that he does that is through the forgiveness of our sins. In Jesus Christ, who died and rose for us, we are restored in soul. We are forgiven, we are made new, we are born again, as Jesus would say. But as we go through life, we also find that our soul needs a daily kind of strengthening. Think of Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. He's beginning to feel the weight of the sin of the world upon himself. And what does he do during that time? But he goes to the Lord in prayer. And his Father in heaven does what for him? He gives him strength to go forward and to do that work which the Lord had sent him into the world to do, which was to suffer and die. Jesus himself, in his human earthly life, needed strengthening. And we are the same. We are believers in Jesus Christ, and yet we are weak. We daily need his strengthening. And look at the promise here that God strengthens our souls. He increases us. He increases in us what we need to live the Christian life. And that is good news for us. Perhaps this describes some of you today. that You're feeling low, you're feeling weak, that you need his strength. Call upon the Lord and know that he is one who is able to do this for you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your many gifts that you daily pour out upon us in your rich grace. And today we pray that you would daily strengthen us in our souls just as you strengthened Christ in the mission that you gave him. You've given us a mission, Lord, and we pray that you would give us the strength we need to live that out. We trust you for it and thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Blessings and God's grace be upon you.